afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the Chicago White Sox and the Boston Red Sox. Coming to the plate now, Leori Garcia. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. 1-1. One, 1-2 one. One now. Really starting to pour now, and the forecast is not showing any signs of a break in the weather. You know, one of the big issues is player safety, and right now this field is getting sloppy, wet, mad, and I don't know how much more rain this field can take. Count all the way full to the White Sox center fielder. And he lays off. Ball four, and the leadoff man is on to begin the ball game. Next to bat will be the Cuban import, Yon Moncada. His numbers against Eduardo Rodriguez, batting at an even 400. He also has one home run. Line softly toward the hole, and that's by him into right field for a base hit. That occurred. The quick ball. To the plate now, Tim Anderson. Ground ball sent back up the middle. There's one. On to Moreland, and it's a double play. Set to get his day started, Elo Jimenez. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year, looking to get things turned around in a hurry. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Garcia at third with two away. Well below the knees, laid off on the changeup there. off so it's full now three and two you would think in this situation maybe with a base open he just pitch around them and put him on first but not with the guy in the on deck circle oh and it eats him up a bit and the throw is in time to get him to retire the side stepping into the box Jose Peraza he'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first Line drive to left. But he'll hardly need to move out there in left as this is hauled in for the first out. So one away here with the bases empty. And that brings up the outfielder, Alex Verdugo. Popped him up. Abreu has a play. Two down. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring up the dangerous bat of J.D. Martinez. Now the one and one pitch. Misses, ball two. All even now, two and two. A swing and a ground ball to third. Throw over to Abreu is in time, and with it, the side is retired. Up next for Chicago, Jose Abreu. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Now the 2-1. Takes this the other way to right, and a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. Standing in now, Edwin Encarnacion. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Here's a swing and a high pop up, drifting toward the third base dugout. Devers has it, and there's one away. Here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandal. He's ready for his first at-bat of this early season contest. Ready with the 1-1 pitch. Hard liner to center field. 
Aquilar is back and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. So it's a runner at first with two gone. And that brings up the versatile Nomar Mazzara. Nomar Mazzara. The 1-1 home. And this one's in the dirt. Runner holds as the count moves to 2-1. and one. From the belt, kicks and deals. And the good fastball there finds the zone as the count goes full now. Three and two. Three, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Now the payoff pitch home. Grounded up the first baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Another full count pitch home. Another one sent foul. No score here as we play inning number two. And he struck him out. So he was forced to make nine pitches that at bat, but he'll take it as the inning is over. And that brings in Xander Bogarts. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. Now the one and one pitch. Count is one and two now. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Grounded back up the middle. And that's the first out. So the base is empty here with one away. And that brings up the third baseman, Rafael Devers. Now the one and one pitch. Is a sinker that catches the zone. A swing and a miss for out number two, and a ball he had no chance of making contact with. Next up for the Red Sox, Kevin Pillar. He was one for four with a two bagger in yesterday's game. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Hit to short. Oh, what a stop on the slide. To first. Touche, sir. Ready now for the White Sox. Danny Mendick. And he'll start out their half of the third. Top of the order to follow. The 3 1. And he lays off there. Ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin inning number three. Digging in for his second at bat. Leori Garcia reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. Now the one and one pitch is taken for ball two. Well, that rain is really coming down right now. It's raining cats and dogs. You got to make sure you don't step in a poodle. That's as hard as I've seen it rain all afternoon. Everyone, it's so much harder to concentrate when it rains. The 3 1. And he popped him up. In there, a base hit. And now they'll have runners at the corners to start off the inning. Now batting, third base. Into the box, Yohan Moncada. And he misses again, ball three. Well, you don't need us to tell you. It's really starting to come down out there. I can't imagine the umpires will let this go too much longer if it doesn't ease up. Yeah, Matt, right now, this doesn't look too good. I, I wouldn't be surprised if we don't see the umpires come out and bring the ground crew out here. The infield, around the mound, and around the home plate area is really getting soaking wet. And I can't anticipate this going on very much longer. Here's a fly ball well hit. On the move is Pilar. But he won't have a play. This is down and into the gap. He pulls into second safely as they jump ahead with a run scoring on the play. So now to the plate, Tim Anderson down the third baseline. The one two. 
Good take right there. He's given him a great battle with guys in scoring position. We'll see who's going to win this duel. Still two and two. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. One out here in the Shy Sox third. And up next, the exciting oh Eloy Jimenez. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And it's a sack fly and an RBI. It's now a 2 0 game. In now, Jose Abreu. He reached on a single in his first try. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. On the ground, up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. Long throw to the plate. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. Now batter, the designated hitter. Edwin Into the box now, Edwin Encarnacion. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. Left field and deep. Back goes Martinez. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Set to get his day started, Christian Vasquez, batting just a notch below 300 so far on the season. Now the one and one pitch. Is swung on and missed for strike number two. Two strikes. Hit in the air down the right field line, but this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. The one two. I got to count two and two. Ground ball left side. Moncada gloves it. And there's one away. Now the Red Sox DH, Michael Chavis, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Hold the string on him, strike three swinging. Grandall has it, and the throw to first is there to record the second out. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring up a former gold glover, the first baseman, Mitch Moreland. Heichel gets the sign. Full count pitch on its way. Red Sox still looking for their first hit here. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. And right into the shift. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Grounder down the line at third. Foul. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. The 11th pitch is the charm as he strikes him out to end the inning. And here's the switch hitting catcher Yasmani Grandal comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. One of the keys to securing a win. They want to keep the pressure on and try to build that. Meanwhile here this ball's given a pretty good ride out to deep left field and that is going to clear the wall a home run. In now, Nomar Mazzara. That's High and wide. Two balls and a strike. Well, it's been a rough one so far. Four runs through three innings. 
it's about time to get that pitch count down or he won't be out here very long. His eyes lit up on that one above the zone, but he comes up empty. Lifted down the line and left. And they can't run it down. The 2-2 one more time. Danny Mendick is on deck. Now the three and two pitch. Skied into straightaway right. Verdugo waits on it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Striding in once again, Danny Mendick. He worked a walk and came around to score in his first trip in this game. Swinging a ball hit on the ground, but this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. The pitch. Now a line drive that's going to be caught out there at short. And that will become out number two. Leori Lofia. A 1-1. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Long run for the right fielder. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Back to the top of the order now, and digging into bat next, it'll be Jose Peraza. Now the one and one pitch. Whoa, that's down. Hey, throwing the ball great up until this point. Don't want to allow a leadoff walk. Needs to just focus in on his mechanics right here. Full count to Jose Peraza. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that brings up the outfielder, Alex Verdugo. A 1 1 home. Misses for the second ball. One out, nobody on. Fouled off. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. And that nearly would have gotten him on the board. Instead, it's a long foul ball. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. So two gone now here in the Red Sox fourth. And into bat next, one of the best run producers in the land, J.D. Martinez. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. Hit down the line at first. And this will get past him down the line at first. It's a fair ball. Late now, Xander Bogarts tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball two and one. And that's in there above the belt, so it's even now, two and two. I'm absolutely shocked he took that pitch right there. Right in a wheelhouse, low 90s heater. That's one you gotta let go on. Mokata has it, and nothing will come of the two-out double as the inning is over. Digging in the switch hitter, Johan Moncada. He'll start off the fifth in this one. To two balls and two strikes now. Too high, ball three. What a great battle to start this inning. What a great job by the leadoff hitter. He knows that this pitcher's starting to get up there and pitches. The manager's starting to get restless. Let's see if we can knock him out and get into that bullpen. Ryan Weber takes the ball here as he'll enter with a runner at first and nobody out. Ken Anderson. Standing in now, Tim Anderson. And it's two balls and a strike for Tim Anderson. Oh, 
ball, ball three. Emo Jimenez waits on deck. A 3 1. Is swung on and missed, and that's a full count now. Three balls and two strikes. Hey, you know the pitcher right now, he's looking for that best friend, that double play ball. This is where you have to really be disciplined at the plate to make sure that you. And that's through for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Now batter, left fielder, Aloy. Stepping in now, Emo Jimenez. Jimenez. Softly hit down to third, likely no shot at two. The second for one. Return throw is in time. And what do you know, they do get the double play. Now batter. So a man at third here with two gone. And one of the more prolific RBI men in the league the last few years, Jose Abreu, will back next. Sharp ground ball to third. And that'll just sneak past his outstretched arm, a base hit. And they'll extend their lead even further as the runs in to score from third. Now a 5 nothing lead. The designated hitter, Edwin Encarnacion. So now to the plate, Edwin Encarnacion. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And he just couldn't keep that ball fair as it winds up a long foul ball. Oh, and a big swing by Encarnacion as this is sent out to deep left field. On to Lansdowne and gone. Into the box, Yosmani Grandal. Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. The 1-2. Three runs already home here. And it's two balls and two strikes now. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, striding in for Boston, Rafael Devers. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. A shot to second base and handled for the first out. Now back. At the plate, Kevin Pillar. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. The 2-2. Two -two. No runs, just one hit, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. Hit in the air out to left. Jimenez is in pursuit. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. So coming to the plate, Christian Vasquez. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Keiko into his motion. Here's the 1-1. Counting two and one. Ball even at two and two. Two out, nobody on. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Center fielder on the run. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. All set for the start of the inning. Digging in, Nomar Mazzara. He flew out in his last at bat. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Now here's the pitch. Nope, outside. It's been a great job so far by the eight hole hitter. If he finds a way to get on base, this could spell for a huge inning. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Hit in the air to shallow center. On the move is Martinez. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Ready for another shot now. Danny Mendick. 0 for 1 with a run scored thus far. Seven runs, ten hits, and no errors so far for the White Sox. And it's one and two. One ball, two strikes, down. Yeah. 
Lined to short, but gobbled up there, and there are two away. Now back. So the lineup flips over and digging in. Leori Garcia. He enters this at bat one for two with a walk. Scorch to third. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. So here's Michael Chavis now. And that one misses. So the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of the set. Stepping in, Mitch Moreland, 0 for 1 after he took a look at strike three in his first plate appearance. Yeah, in today's game, certainly don't get completely reprimanded for too many strikeouts, but no one likes to go down looking. Expect him to be a little bit more aggressive at the dish, this A.B. Fouled away. The 2-2. Two -two. Hot shot down the line. But a foul ball as it holds it 2-2. Two and two. Full count, three balls and two strikes. These are the kind of A-Bs, regardless of the outcome, you go back to the dugout as the offensive player, and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. Anderson ranging into the outfield. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Ready once again, now Jose Peraza. 0 for 2 here baseball. to start the afternoon. Peraza. Two and one now to the Boston leadoff hitter. Runners on first with one down. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Two men are gone now in the Boston half of the sixth. And that brings up the outfielder, Alex Verdugo. Verdugo. This is knocked down on the mound. Fortunately, he's able to stick with it and get the out at first, and that'll put an end to the inning. Heath no, Hembry enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. So here's Yuan Moncada. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. The one two. I got to count. Two and two. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. And the next to bat will be Tim Anderson. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Anderson. The one one home is a fastball looked at for a strike. Hembry was known as a short relief specialist, a guy who came in, got one or two big outs, but with the new pace of play rules, they're forcing a change for this right-hander. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline, but this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he now faces out of the bullpen. The Bases oh are boy. empty here with two men out. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. And it bangs off the monster. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Now back the first base. Abreu. Into the box now. Jose Abreu. High in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. And another foul ball. The 2 2. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to 3 and 2. 
Edwin Encarnacion would be next. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. The next 3 2 is at the knees and called strike three. For the traditional seventh inning Stepping up to the plate, J.D. Martinez. A hit in two tries for him so far. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. A swing by Martinez, and this is driven to left. Looking up is Jimenez. Gone over the monster and out onto Lansdowne Street. Blake now Xander Bogarts outside two and one very impressive outing so far his command has been spot on even when he misses his spot it isn't out over the heart of the plate he's throwing quality pitches Mendick moving to his left looks it into his glove and there's one gone now in the box Rafael Devers hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat but it resulted in a line out the two one Strike two, swinging. And he'll find a way to get a piece of that one to stay alive. Three and two, the count for Rafael Devers. And it's late his afternoon of work, and the longer this at bat goes, the better chance of him making a mistake. And he gets a round on one and hits it high and deep to straightaway right. Gone. He finds the short porch for a home run. To the plate now, Kevin Pillar. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to one and two now. Oh. Two and two. And through six and a third, he's about to hit the 100 pitch mark now. Hey, you know, Matty V, this is all you can ask for as a manager in today's game in baseball. Very rarely do we see guys get through the seventh inning, so he's through the sixth here with one out at Mark DeRosa. So far, so good. A pretty decent outing. Yeah, and I think it's going to be batter to batter here for the manager if he's going to continue to ride this hot hand or if he's going to go to the bullpen. Michael Kopech enters to make an appearance on the mound as he inherits a runner at first with one out in the inning. Standing in now, Christian Vasquez. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. And that fastball's taken, but catches the outer third. Heading out towards shallow right. In comes Mazzara. He gets there, and that's the second out. To the plate now is the designated hitter, now, that, Michael Chavis. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Slap hard the opposite way. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. And this will find the wall out near the visitors' bullpen. And they'll get a little closer here as the run comes across to score from first. That makes it a 7 to 3 ball now game. First base Mitch so now to the plate, Mitch Moreland. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. And he fouls this one off. Two out here and a runner at second. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. Matt Barnes will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. Number 32. Edwin Encarnacion now, and he's coming off a two-run homer his last time around. 
we all know this guy's a real good fastball hitter. We saw how far he could hit one. He got a fastball that he liked, and he turned that thing around, and it got out of here in a hurry. Two balls and a strike to count. The 2 1 home will not catch the zone, ball three. And just when you needed a shutdown inning, a leadoff walk was certainly not on the agenda. He needs a bear down right here. And a good take there will net him a base runner as it's ball four now to start the eighth inning. So striding forward now, here's Monty Grandal. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Swings through it for strike number two. Beautifully thrown splitter right there. High 80s down in the zone. Looks like a fastball coming, and then boom, the bottom falls out of it. Terrific pitch. I tried to backdoor him there, but it's a full count now. Three and two. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off speed stuff. Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. Now this is out in front. Maybe tough to get two. And the throw to first is in time. One gun. In now the power hitting outfielder Nomar Mazzara. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. A 1 1. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Mazzara is retired. Two down now. Ready now, Danny Mendick. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Two one pitch is a fastball swung on and missed two and two. Now a 58 foot curveball that misses for a ball. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. High in the air out to center field. Pilar's there. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. So the Red Sox lineup turns over, and to the plate, Jose Peraza. He's 0 for 3 so far, so he hasn't done much to help at the top of the lineup. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Slow little roller to third. Throw just in time, and oh, that was awfully close. Into the box now, Alex Verdugo. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. 1-1. There's a fastball that misses. And it's fouled away. The 2-2. Now a fastball runs inside and drills him. Oh, that's got to hurt. Digging in and looking for more, J.D. Martinez. It was a solo shot for him in his last at-bat. Yeah, that last at-bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile. But, hey, listen, a home run is a home run. Two balls and a strike now. Three and one to Martinez. Well, it's a pretty well-known fact that your batting average goes up as you get into more favorable hitters counts, and that's especially true when we're talking about this kind of hitter. Not a great spot to be in if you're the pitcher. The 3-2 pitch is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. So here's the Boston the batter, cleanup hitter, two. Xander Bogarts. He's hitless in Xander. three at-bats to this point. Hit hard down the line. 
But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Now look out as that pitch sends him tumbling to the ground. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. This one skied out toward right. Mazar is under it, and the inning is over. Ryan Brazier enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Back to the top of the White Sox lineup now and stepping in, Leori Garcia. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. And think about it. In game one of this series, they've already had to go deep into their bullpen. This could affect them for the rest of the weekend if they don't get really good starting pitching. Pilar is to his left as he puts it away in the alley for the first out of the inning. Up next for the White Sox. Striding into the, the box, Yohan Moncada. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Now the one and one pitch is laid off for ball two. Bases are empty, one man out. The bouncer to the left side. Oh, a diving effort as it's off his glove. And not really much of a chance to recover there as he'll reach first on what undoubtedly will be scored as an infield single. Into the box, Tim Anderson counts a ball and two strikes to the White Sox shortstop. On the ground is short. This could be two. To second for one. On to Moreland, but it's too late, so they'll get just the one. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Emo Jimenez. He doubled his last time through. Yeah, give me a repeat performance of that last double. With a man on first right now, let him run, get you a ribbon. One ball and two strikes to count. The one-two pitch. In the dirt. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. And that'll hurt as the runner will move into scoring position now. The two-two. Freaky. -two. Jose Abreu would be next. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. Settling in now, Jose Abreu. It was a backwards K, a strikeout looking for him in his last at bat. You know, Matty, tough to go down looking. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field, and it's gone into the monster seats. Darwin's in Hernandez comes on to pitch now hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. Into the box now Edwin Encarnacion. Two two pitches fouled away. Now here it comes. Bounce towards the second baseman. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Kelvin Herrera will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. Rafael Devers, the next to bat. Now the three and two pitch and right into the shift but this will get foul so they'll do it again three and two and could this be the start it's a long way back but the leadoff man is on base to start their final set of at bats. Way inside with that one a pretty easy take there. This situation right here reminds me of sitting on the bench talking to John Smoltz, Hall of Famer. 
he would always say, even though the situation looked bad, a pitcher is one pitch away from getting himself out of a tough jam. There to make the catch is Jimenez, and there's one away. Now, now with the play, Christian Vasquez. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. The 1 1. Sharply hit ball back up the middle, and that'll get down for a base hit. Now battle. The designated hitter. At the plate, Michael Chavis. On a good changeup, a swing and a miss, and he's set down on strikes for the second time today. Red Sox down to their final out now, and that'll bring up a former gold glover, the first baseman, Mitch Moreland. Swing and a miss, and they're up against it now as they're down to their final strike of the afternoon. Woo-wee! That was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. And he'll step on first for the out, and the ball game is over. Yeah, that's what you want to do when you're playing on the road. Take it right to the home squad and get a win. Now the pressure is off. If they get one of the next two, the series is theirs. 10-3 at the end of this contest. Chicago scored 10 runs on the way to victory. Dallas Keuchel gets the win on the mound his first of the year. Eduardo Rodriguez was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious White Sox, 10 runs, 13 hits, no errors. They left five men on base. For the Red Sox, three runs, six hits, no errors. They left six men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 35 minutes. Our Fenway Park paid attendance this afternoon, 37,755. We'd like to thank the Red Sox Nation for their continuing support and remind you to please drive home safely.